Today we're driving through the Cotswolds on our way to the beautiful village of Morton in the Marsh. So good morning to a very cold again and frosty morning here, this time in Morton in the Marsh. Been here two years ago, that was July, totally different thing now mind. Here we are in the midst of winter and uh, the site is only half open. Apparently the toilet block, the boiler's gone down. So one toilet block is open in the second field so you got a bit of a walk to get to that one and they're doing building work in that field we'll have a little walk around and we'll see what we can see come on Apparently there are 184 touring pitches, which 172 are hard standing. In the summer, if I remember, they have a pizza van that visits the site every Tuesday and Friday. Somehow, I don't think it'll be here this weekend. Best to avoid parking up here, I think. You don't want road noise all day and night. This is the little walk we got to do to go to the toilet block because a few pictures are being renovated, as we can see. So everyone's told to park and pitch on the eastern side of the site. Oh well, look at the bonuses. We definitely got a few extra steps in every day. Shall we have a little look in the toilet? Oh, go on, the things they do for you. Oi, there's a bloke going round here with a camera. Oops, sorry oh. Ralph. I do like more than the marsh. I do like this site because as soon as you walk out of the club site, you turn left, you're on a main road, but nice footpath. And within five, six minutes, you're in the village. Loads of pubs, loads of places to eat and, and you can get a bus. You can get a bus to the neighbouring villages too or even if you want to go all the way to Stratford-upon-Avon. Don't think we'd be doing that, don't mind. Come on. Okay, this is the dog walk. Totally different things look, don't they, when you come in the summer. You come in the summer and everything looks inviting on a nice day. Mind you, depends which type of weather we got. Oh, I wouldn't fancy staying overnight in the frost in a safari tent. But I don't know if they're open, but if they would, I'm sure they got a good form of heating. And now these Pods or chalets seem very popular these days. And you have your own parking space allocated to you. Primrose parking, cowslip parking, daisy and bluebell. Obviously all individual names. 
you would stay doing one of these before? If you have, let us know in the comments. What did you think? I suppose, you know, as we've always said, we've all got friends and relatives and family that uh, perhaps would like to join you but haven't got a caravan motor home. And this is an opportunity to come along and enjoy the fun. Didn't see this last time? Communal fire pit. Oh, you'd need that on a morning like this, mind. Yeah, fair sized dog walk. Yeah. Ah, look at this. This is new to me. On some pitches, you've got a raised barbecue and also your own picnic bench. Ah, these are the premier. These, yes, of course. Wouldn't it be great if everything was like this? Mind you, the prices we're all paying now. Maybe we should have a bit more on our pitch. What do you think? I just thought I'd mention it the previous evening. We took a little short walk into the village and we sampled a couple of lovely Cotswolds pubs. Just walking now back from Morton the Marsh, back to the caravan park. And uh, can you see all this sheep poop? Which I can. Now, if it was a dog, you'd be fined for leaving all your mess. But maybe it doesn't apply that rule when it comes to the farmer moving his sheep from one field to the next. Because if you haven't got uh, a good torch now, your feet are going to be covered in it. Let's continue, slowly. The next day, we took that bus I mentioned earlier, this time to stow on the wall. It's here where I saw Porch House, which is claimed to be the oldest pub in England, with timbers dating back to the 10th century. Inside, look out for the witch marks edged into the 16th century fireplace in the dining room. They're there to ward off evil spirits. We then visited St. Edward's Church, which is home to a wooden door which looks like something from a fairy tale. Indeed, rumour has it that the door was the inspiration behind J.R.R. Tolkien's The West Gate of Moira that actually appears in a scene in Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. We then got back on the bus again to visit my very favourite village in the Cotswolds. Borden on the water. And of course we had to have that iconic shot of someone standing on the bridge. While we were there I thought I would take up the opportunity to uh, seek out this car park which has a designated area especially for motorhomes. And as you can see there's marked out bays. You can pay at the machine and it's £15 to stay overnight. But I'd prefer it if it was more like a tenner. Well, I think that's about it for the day. We've had a nice little walk around. My feet are very cold. And uh, totally different seeing it with the frost on the ground and with a different perspective. We've enjoyed our little winter walk. See you on the next one. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and like. I keep saying it costs nothing. And uh, over 90% of people that do watch these channels don't subscribe and it's free. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that button. See you next time. Bye bye. Excuse me, mind the poop on the pavement!